Hi guys, welcome to Celeb Villa SA, where you get the latest news on all things trending and newsworthy. Now don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget to hit that bell so you never miss any of my uploads. A terrible setback as DJ Zindle has robbed off half a million rands. Dombe Zindle Gianna has dealt with a major financial blow after half a million rands was stolen from her account. Zindle's bank account was fraudulently accessed by one of her employees from July 2020 till July this year. 2021. The employee had all the access as they knew the username and password to accessing her bank account. They noticed the money had been stolen from her while she was in a consultation meeting with her lawyer, Michelle Attorneys, and Pratia Glenn Soweto in July this year. After the discovery of the loss of the money, DJ Zinka questioned the employee, but the alleged suspect seemed just as surprised, and she was left with no choice but to open a case of fraud and theft at Pratia Glen Police Station. Part of the statement read, The complainant alleged that on 2021-07-21, she went to Pratia North at Mashele Atini to consult with her Atini, and she realized that the name of the withheld employer, who is working in accounts department in her company, has been transferring money into her bank account. This has been happening from July 2020, according to a bank statement. And 500,000 rand has been transferred. The provincial Gauteng police captain K. Makubela confirmed that Dombezinkle Gianna opened a case of theft and fraud at Portier Glen. No arrest has been made and police investigations are underway, he said. After the questioning of the particular employee and obtaining of statements from potential witnesses, the police then went to the NPA South Gauteng to get assistance from prosecutors to apply for a Section 205, which is an order of the Criminal Procedure Act that allows investigators the right to access information that is not in the public domain, which would be then used to retrieve bank statements of that employee. Pindim Jonundwane, NPA South Gauteng spokesperson, confirmed that the police did visit their offices asking for assistance from prosecutors.